Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you a question asked during Excel level two training the other day. Column C has zip codes. And if you notice, some of them only have three digits and four digits. Others have the correct five digits. The reason is leading zeros get dropped off from numbers. So whether someone typed this or you pulled it in from another database, you need to get those leading zeros back. Let me show you a couple ways to do it. Um, and I'll tell you my preferred method. So simply highlight all the zip codes first, then right click and go to Format Cells. When you go to Format Cells, make sure on the Number tab, the first one, click the word Special, and zip code is already built in here, so just click OK, and it puts in the five-digit zip code. Now, here's the issue I have. If you click, I clicked on C6, and I'm looking up here in the formula bar, and it just it still says 602. New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Puerto Rico all have leading zip leading zeros in their zip code. And I've already tested this, and if you do a mail merge and you want to put in someone's address, that zip code would just be 602, which is incorrect. So I'm going to do an undo, and here's my method for fixing the zeros. By the way, this, does, this applies not only to zip codes, but to any account numbers or product numbers that have leading zeros, this would work. I'm over in G6, and I'm going to do equals. I'm going to use the text function. I'm going to reference C6, the first cell that I want to fix, comma. And then your formatted text, I'm going to do quotations, one, two, three, four, five zeros, quotations. Press enter, and it has 00602, autofill that all the way down. In case you're wondering, the five zeros doesn't mean put in five zeros. It means put in the necessary zeros, but make this five digits long or five characters long, because I use the text function. So they're all correct now. I just need to copy them, click in C6, and do a paste values. And then I can delete what I did in column G. So that is what I would do. And if you click in C6, you can see it's 00602. And I also have the green triangle, which means that it's text. Because zip code should always be text, and so should social security numbers, product ID numbers. Now, if you know you're going to have to type in leading zeros to begin with, I'm going to highlight column L. The number group on the home tab says general. Hit the drop down. Tell it to be text to begin with. So now when you type in leading zeros, it keeps them in there. Hopefully that helps. Feel free to call me if you need Microsoft Excel training. Thank you.